This is Bill Papoon, Managing Partner with Construction Science in Northern California. We're an Oracle Gold Partner, which means we are authorized to offer Primavera training, and we also sell Primavera software. But we get, off, we get asked quite a bit, what is the difference between the different Primavera scheduling programs? Now, there are a few other programs we're not going to be discussing here, these are the ones that are used primarily for scheduling. In terms of cost, Primavera Contractor would be the least expensive option. It's nearly one half of what you would pay for P6 Professional. Then we have P6 EPPM, which stands for Enterprise Project Portfolio Management. And this one offers some options where we can log in to the program remotely using any computer. There's no special network involved. You simply go to a URL and you enter the program. So it can be uh, very flexible for organizations that are constantly changing computers because you're not going to physically install any software on individual computers. Instead, with EPPM, all of the software will be installed on a server and then accessed remotely. Now, to take a look at these programs, we'll start with Primavera P6 Professional. Most people, when they think of Primavera, this is what they had in mind. This is the program that replaced P3 several years ago, and it's a very robust program. It can handle up to 100,000 activities, which in most cases means that you can have hundreds and hundreds of projects in your database. Now, all of the programs do use a database. The programs themselves don't really store any information. So every time you're installing Primavera software, you're actually installing a database as well. So with this particular version, very flexible, very powerful. It gives you the option to see all the projects you're working on, something that we call the enterprise project structure. And similar to the, what you might do with a Windows computer, you're creating folders to store these different projects. Now, being Primavera, we don't really call it a folder, we call it a node. But a node right here, such as general projects, just a place where I can park some projects to keep track of those separately from others. You might have different nodes for different employees, that sort of thing, because we can share the database with multiple users. Now, the disadvantage of starting off with Contractor Contractor doesn't have a view like that. You either have a project open or you just don't have anything open. If you want to open up a different file, about all you're going to see of that other schedule is going to be something like this. You're going to see a list of projects. You'll see some sort of status, and that's about it. That's all you're going to know about these projects. You'd otherwise have to highlight one of these projects, open it up, and see really what it's about. Is this a completed schedule? How many activities are in there? What's the projected budget of this project? That sort of thing. So you're working a little bit blind on the front end because you don't have an easy way of organizing these files. All of the files are just in basically one big folder. So if you do have hundreds of projects or hundreds of updates, then it can become very difficult to keep track of things because in P6 Professional, we would certainly be able to create as many nodes as we need to to keep track of those different projects. Now, the enterprise version, EPPM, looks a little bit different. We don't teach these programs side by side. It's good to learn one of them before you try to learn another. So when you go with the web client, as we call it, you have this other option called a dashboard. And the dashboard consists of several different portlets. For example, right here, this resource analysis chart, that's a portlet, and I can blow that up for you if we want to see it bigger. These portlets allow you to zoom in on certain critical details of one of your projects. Now, one of the disadvantages of this program is that it operates a bit slower. slower. You're working through the internet, so it does depend on your browser speed, and uh, for someone who's used to the instantaneous response of P6 Professional, this can be sometimes a little bit frustrating. A few years ago, we were helping a major company upgrade their software, 
And in their own personal instruction manual, they had one instruction that said, click on the resources tab, this one right here, which would show you a list of all the resources that are available to the organization, and then go get a cup of coffee. Because in their system at the time, it would literally take a couple of minutes to render the resources information. So because you are working through the internet, you do have to understand that it depends on the speed of your equipment, your server, and it's certainly influenced by your internet uh, connection. So if you have a slow internet connection at home, it could be a little bit of a challenge to log into the office system. Otherwise, though, you have this great flexibility that I can go anywhere in the world, hop on a computer, and if they have internet access, I just type in the URL, I go to the welcome page for ePPM, and I'm in the program. It might be a little bit slow, but then again, I didn't have to take my computer with me at all. Whereas with P6 Professional, you'll hear this quite often referred to as the standalone version, because primarily it is installed for individuals. Now we can share the database, as I mentioned, but you still have to install the software on individual computers. So you're not going to get around that option. Whereas with P6 uh, EPPM, no matter what size your organization, you're literally only going to install the software once. In other words, there's no need to ever install more software. You buy more licenses, certainly you have to do that. But otherwise, the only other thing you do when you have more users is that you create a username and a password for those other people, and then they're in the program. Because on their computers, you're not going to install anything at all. So it makes a lot of sense to go to the additional expense and time of setting up ePPM because it's so scalable. It's like a phone system where you just have unlimited phones. So it doesn't matter how many employees you hire, they can all be given access to Primavera ePPM as long as you're buying those licenses. But initially on the front end, if you're just going to install this program for a few users, it is a bit time consuming, excuse me, time consuming and difficult. If you only want to start off with a few users, maybe P6 Professional makes the most sense, or even Primavera Contractor due to its uh, much cheaper cost. But there is another option with ePPM. If you like this interface right here, great. You could certainly use this. But if you want to switch over to the desktop, you can do that as well, because both of those interfaces are included with ePPM. So it gives you the ability to get all of that instantaneous speed that you're used to with your own desktop of just going into different windows and things pop up immediately. But you're still connecting to the same database that you connect with this one over here. Now again, you almost have to learn the programs separately because all of the menus are slightly different, the capabilities are different, but otherwise, if you fall in love with this interface, fine, use that one. But if in other situations you need the more um, powerful version here, P6 Professional, do that as well. You can go back and forth as much as you want because both of those interfaces are included with each license. Just keep in mind that if you do want this interface right here, you are going to have to install this particular software on your own computer. And you'll be connecting back to the server. Now, I guess this really comes back to what is the role of Primavera Contractor? Well, this is a program that for the most part has had frozen development for several years. It's compatible with 32-bit and 64-bit machines. It'll run on Windows 8. We have not personally tested it on Windows 10 yet to see if it'll work. And the files can be exchanged with P6 Professional and ePPM. So you're in the same family. And you're working with the, basically the same type of software. But some of the disadvantages is that we can't copy activities and paste them easily. Although I can certainly highlight a series of activities like these ones here. When I go to paste them, I won't have an easy way of controlling the new activity ID. I'll have to go in and change it manually. Most of us call that a fragment. The biggest time saver in scheduling is that you take a series of repetitive activities and you copy them, maybe from a different project or even side inside the same project. When I'm in P6 Professional, 
that's an easy thing to do. I just go in there and I highlight a series of activities and I tell Primavera I want to copy them. And that part's just like contractor, but when I go to paste it, I have the option of, well, number one, deciding if I want to copy the logic, and that would be just like a uh, contractor. But then I have this option, one way or the other, of telling Primavera automatically to renumber these new activities. And in some cases, I'm copying a string of more than 100 activities. So being able to tell Primavera to renumber these new activities with, say, a different prefix or even a different suffix saves me a huge amount of time. We can still copy and paste with contractor, but we wouldn't have this option right here. That's something you're going to lose immediately. In many respects, that's almost a deal breaker for me because I spend so much time copying existing activities and reusing them. I develop fragments, things like elevator sequence. So the next high rise I'm working on, I've actually got this string of activities that represents a typical elevator sequence. And I'm going to copy that over to my new project and give it some new IDs to align with that new project. So not being able to automatically renumber my activities the way I'd like to do it can be a bit difficult. Also, we can't open up more than one project at a time when you're using Contractor. So you work on one project, you close it. You open up a different one, you close it. With P6 Professional, I can go into the EPS window what we call the enterprise project structure. And I might take all of the updates for a particular project. I might just tell Primavera, I'd like to open up several different schedules, maybe on the same project. And so when I tell Primavera to open these up, these projects are inside the same window, not separate windows. This is not even like Excel, where you go back and forth between different tabs. I mean that we see them all, all of the projects in the same window. So it allows you, for example, to go back and forth and see how changes have evolved on this project. We can take out the grouping here. I'm grouping it by project so I can tell them apart. But if I take out that grouping, then we can get the same activity together from different schedules. So these activity IDs are identical, but they're different schedules. It would allow you to go in there and see how maybe you've made changes to this activity over several months. In one case, I opened up 18 updates to see how a critical milestone had evolved during a year and a half process. I'm just looking at 18 activities, the same milestone in all 18 updates. Great for analyzing projects that are having issues. But with Contractor, I'd be opening up one file at a time, taking a look at it, maybe taking some notes and then opening up the next one to look at the same type of information. Now the other thing too is because we have this EPS view for this one, I have a lot of critical information I like to see on the main screen. I want to know how many activities have started, how many are completed, how many remain. I might want to know even the budgets for each project or um, how many man hours are in there, things like that. But I can't get a sense of any of that when I'm working with Contractor, because with Contractor, I simply go into this view where I say File Open. And I'll do that again because I just closed one project. This is about all I see. I don't know anything else about these projects other than they're either active or inactive, something like that. But I don't know if there's, you know, several hundred activities in some of these schedules. I don't know any of the other information without opening the file. So, yes, I could certainly produce a schedule using Contractor, but to a certain extent, it feels like I've almost got one hand tied behind my back. But it is a good introduction to the Primavera family without making the full financial commitment of something like P6 Professional. Now, EPPM would be the most expensive version, but you're really getting two different interfaces. You're getting P6 Web, which we're looking at right now, and you get another interface that's basically P6 Professional. So for people who are real comfortable using this, even if their company switches over to ePPM, they still have this interface right here. All of the things that they're used to seeing, all of the features, exactly the same. But otherwise, 
when they don't have access to their own computer that has P6 on it, they can still log in to the program using the web interface from any computer that has internet access. So for a little bit more money, you're giving yourself the flexibility of using something that basically is P6 professional or switching over to the web. And as I said before, this is highly scalable. I can have hundreds of new users up and running very, very quickly because we're only installing the software once. So again, I think that gives you a good overview of how these programs are different. My personal favorite would be P6 Professional, whether I'm connecting to, say, an ePPM database or just some other database that might be installed even on my own computer. But they all have certain advantages, either based on a low cost, like contractor, the flexibility of ePPM, or the brute horsepower of P6 Professional. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us. We have a training site, primaveraschedulingcom where you'll see some sample videos. You'll see a list of our upcoming classes, both online and in person. And we also sell the software through that website. Then our main website, Construction Science, is for our clients who are seeking scheduling services, construction claim services, and we also have some of the other information regarding Primavera also posted there. I hope this video was helpful to you, and feel free to reach out to us if you have any other questions about Primavera software. Thank you.